On TV, you get a chance to see it once. You miss it, you're done. On our website, you can you can obviously watch it from there, but if you don't go to our website, you don't know about it. But when you get people talking about it on social media, they're more likely to either check it out, look at the picture, share a photo, um, go watch the video, and it's just a better way for us to engage with our audience. And why are photos so important? Well, photos are important because it's like people read... I think people read social media like a magazine now. So you kind of you scroll through it, and then what grabs your eye when you're in a magazine? It's a, it's a picture. And you might stop at that picture and go, what is that? Oh, oh, interesting. That's a picture of uh, an eagle taking a bath in a river. That's bizarre. I've never seen that before. And they're willing to either click on the photo, click on the link, check out the story, where did this come from, what's the deal with this, and if they like it, they'll share it. And that's really where the value is for us. We want to get our stories out there to an audience that might not have access to it. It goes all around the world. I mean, I have people from Washington, D.C., funny, um, sharing pictures that we posted originally, but they got it from their friends. And there's a real viral element to that that we we're trying to tap into. And so everybody should be on Instagram? I mean, it just depends on what you want your audience to be. Instagram people are photography driven, so if you want to be in a culture where there's a lot of people sharing cool pictures and this and that, yeah, you should be on Instagram. Instagram is a fun place to be. It's easy. You take a picture with your phone, you post it, and you're done. You can engage with people, you can answer, people ask questions, but Instagram is one of those no-brain, one-stop shop, give it a try, it's not going to hurt anything.